Hey guys, those uh, donuts look amazing. Happy Wednesday. We're at the Christmas market at Times Square. Uh, this uh, little red hat, hats, <laughs> boots, <laughs> and they have some present decorations and light decorations on the top of them. And you can find food, you can find Christmas presents, and basically, <clears throat> you know, then <laughs> the Christmas experience in New York City. Ornaments, very cute. Oh, this, these are adorable. A lot of cute and fluffy stuff. Some jewelry. Um, winter hats, scarves, they usually come together, more ornaments, a little bit of every, everything, okay, I, I did, um, <clears throat> I was hiding one of my red envelopes here just like a second ago. I'll show I'll show you where it is. I'm sure nobody took it yet cuz I just put it there. So if you go to this ADM It's right there you guys. It is right there waiting for you to pick it up and last time the envelopes got picked up so quickly um <clears throat> one of them got picked up in less than four minutes so if this one is gonna be picked up soon i'm gonna do another one today in the area a unicorn some magnets and here we are at Times Square. Um, the wishing wall is back, so you can make your wish on a confetti. And then on New Year's Eve, they're gonna, they're gonna throw all the confetti with the wishes. And you can write your wish online. They're gonna print it down for you. Hustle bustle of Times Square. Um, Haley, hey Lena, how's everybody doing? Hey Jose, hey Denise, hey Rose, hello Canada. Um, Penny, no, we're at Times Square. I am not sure I can make it to Bryant Park today. You know, we haven't been in Bryant Park for a while now. Um, let me calculate the times in my head. It is almost 5 p.m. We are on 45th Street. Um, we can make it to Bryant Park. I wasn't planning to, but um, we haven't been there. We haven't even seen the tree yet together. So I'm gonna do this quickly. Go all the way to Ryan Park. Um, and on the way, we can see the snow globe, the show globe, the Broadway shows uh, in a snow globe. We have Aladdin, we already, seen this in a previous live video but we have a lot in here we have wicked and we have the lion king uh, scotland hey susan it's not cold it is not cold. We are at 14 degrees, 14 degrees Celsius, like 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 
it is uh, very comfortable outside. No hands freeze, no ear, nose freeze. Everything is, feels very comfortable, um, but it was raining and foggy the whole day. I don't know if you saw my video, but it was very foggy. We had a foggy morning. It's going to get colder in the next few days. That's Rise and Y, and across from it is the, bro the new Broadway Museum. So both of them you can find here on 45th Street. And um, for Bryant Park, need to go to 42nd Street. which is what I'm doing right now. So it's one minute for every street you walk and then three minutes between avenues. So you can always calculate how much time you're gonna have to walk to get to your destination. Um, yeah, it's easy it, and it's very accurate. It's pretty accurate, the calculation. Oh, let me cross super quick. This is one Times square and all the way up, that's the 2022 sign and, um, and the famous Times Square ball. <clears throat> I've been covering them, uh, replacing the crystals and testing the ball before New Year's Eve in the past two years. Hopefully this year is going to be my th third year covering this for you guys. And we're also going to have the confetti test. And uh, numbers. The numbers are now the 2023. They are now riding across the country and they're gonna arrive to Times Square on December 20. And when they arrive, you can, you know, come and take photos with it before they take it all the way up. How, why didn't I think about, I don't know why, like this year, Bryan Park is not on my mind, like, if you look at my videos from previous years, every other day is Bryant Park. But this year, we've not, we haven't been there that many times. Under the scaffoldings at Times Square, um, they're doing renovation and they're going to open an observatory at uh, one Times Square. So that should be very cool. Everybody's looking forward to that. But I think it's only going to happen at 2025. Um, I was about to mail the postcards and letters. I finally did get the Rockefeller Center. I finally did get the Rockefeller Center postcards. They had them like on December 2nd and um, I was about to send them and somebody put a, a glue trap on the mailbox and it almost destroyed all my letters. Somebody at the last minute, they stopped me from putting the letters there and they showed me that there's a glue trap on the mailbox. And I'm like, oh, wow, I've never seen anything like it before. And I've been like sending letters uh, almost every other, every other day. If um, any of my subscribers did not get an email back from me with the confirmation 
please email me again and I'll give it a few more days but um, maybe this year I'll have some extra postcards and rope um, to send the community so I will let you know if I do and what to do if you want one. Um, I'll just I uh, need a few more days to make sure I got everybody. Look at this tree. Okay, we're almost at Bryan Park. I uh, cannot see the Empire State Building. It's behind the clouds. You cannot see. Usually this is like a best a really good spot to see the empire. You see a little bit of the halo from the empire, but you cannot see the empire because of the clouds today. And we also, I couldn't see the edge today, which uh, I usually do. So that's um, some leftovers from this really foggy day. Uh, so no empire view today. Okay, Brian Park, this, you guys, it's so crowded in here. There's like a hundred people more crossing the street right now. Uh, you would not believe the amount of people behind me. It's like, it's like a parade of people crossing the street, like a huge group. Okay, Bryan Park, from one winter village to another. It is so hot today. I had to take off my hat. I need to take off my jacket. Very busy. Bryant Park is very popular. Um, so it's usually busy and they do have the ice skating rink. And if you have your own skates, you can skate for free. You just need to register in advance and get yourself a time slot uh, before you arrive. Otherwise, they're usually fully booked. So, oh, uh, I have three. That's so cute. Hi. Oh my God. That's adorable. It looks like a real puppet show and it's so colorful and the person is so cute okay you guys first time i'm seeing the bryant park of 2022 that's um never happened before that it took me so long to get here let me find a good spot Crowded. Oh, those puppets, they're adorable, adorable. Yeah. That's the tree. I'm going to get closer. <laughs> you guys, I'm looking at people's phones and they're like, half of them are doing a live video. That's crazy. Like the people standing around the rink. Well, maybe not half, but you know what I'm saying. I like the place too. That's all the food stands. Uh, you can actually find really great food spots here. The only thing you'll have to be uh, standing and eating. So not a lot of sitting area, like most of them are taken. So you need to uh, wait for one and then reserve it. <laughs> before you buy the food. Otherwise, 
you're gonna stand with your foot. Hey, Lena, oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for sending stars. Yeah, it's almost Christmas. Can you believe it? Oh, I don't know if I told you, but I found a, a tip if you want a Christmas tree. So they told me that the Whole Food at uh, Upper East Side, no, Upper West Side, on like 97th Street, something like that, they sell huge Christmas trees for 70 bucks. So uh, that's the tip I got. If you don't want to go all the way to Queens to get one, you can get one at Whole Food, Upper West Side, 97th Street, a huge tree for 70 bucks. That's, that's the hack. That's what I've been told. So everybody's like driving there, now taking the train there and getting themselves a big tree. And then, if you wait for Christmas Day, you can get the tree for free. You won't have to pay for it, but then, you know, it's not gonna stay very long. So I'm not even sure if it's worth the effort, but you can get a, a free Christmas tree on the day of Christmas. Okay, some more stores. Shopping, shopping. I do not do a lot of shopping. I like, I look at these stores, but very unusual for me to actually buy something. Even food, I can count on one hand the food I got at Bryant Park Winter Market. Maybe two fingers, maybe. I do buy food at Bryant Park, it's usually at the bread bakery kiosk. Um, yeah. More people skating. And you can see some Christmas lights around us. The buildings are so pretty. They have like this haze because of the fog. <laughs> oh, watching from Greece, that's pretty cool. Frankfurt, Germany. Oh, that's so nice you guys are joining from all over the world. Watching the um, Christmas festivities in New York City. I'm telling you, New York City is getting all the tourists this year. Everybody is coming to New York City, everybody. The city is so crowded. I had a friend visiting from Canada and he went with me to pick up a Mika from daycare. And he's like, and he told me, you know, this is not normal. <laughs> cause we were struggling to walk on the streets with a stroller cause there were so many people. And he's like, you know, this is not normal. Most places are not, it's not like that. This is a very unusual <laughs> life <laughs> that you're having. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, look at all the teddy bears. Mika would freak out in here. She would want everything. So yeah, I... Uh, taking Mika from daycare with a stroller with all the people and it's just getting more and more crowded because um, Christmas and New Year's Eve, everybody's coming. So I have to cross to a different avenue sometimes. That's crazy, <laughs> crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, that was um, Times Square, Bryant Park on steroids because my time is limited. Oh, oh. But I have something, I have something big, <laughs> big, <laughs> big coming tomorrow. I, I'm not sure if I can give hints um, because the event is not open to the public and I don't think anybody announced it, um, but 
I promise whatever that you give me permission to share, I will be so happy to share with you. And I hope you guys are gonna really, really enjoy it. But uh, yeah, that's tomorrow. You can guess. <laughs> you can guess. But uh, you'll know tomorrow. The minute they give me permission, I'm gonna share the details. Okay, you guys, um, thank you so much for joining this evening on a New Year Christmas walk from Times Square to Bryant Park. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll definitely see you soon. Bye guys, good night, bye.